There's got to be something. I asked yesterday and the day before and the day before if I could finally get a sell-off in this market. Something. A little pause to refresh. Well, this was a little bit more than a pause, wouldn't you say? I am in love right now. I am... I don't think I've ever been this happy. Because... First of all, we made money today, which was phenomenal. Quickly dumped stocks at the open, because why not? I only had dribs and drabs of shit anyway. I was telling you the other day how I was very uncomfortable about owning all those stocks. You know, I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But remember the video I made talking about put spreads? So anyway, they're called credit put spreads. I was buying the 205s for June on the diamonds, and I was buying the 137s for June on the QQQ, right? And what I did was I would sell puts underneath to help me offset the cost of the puts on top. Now, as of yesterday, I was thinking they were all going to expire and I was going to make a little bit of money. Miracles of miracles, we actually get a sell-off. And the one bad part about today, there was no shorts available on SVXY. Man! 30 points in your face. Sick. I know, UVXY could have been, uh, you know, you could have just bought UVXY and had some fun with it, but when UVXY is rocking, SVXY is crashing, and obviously you can make a lot more money shorting a $155 stock than buying a stock at $13.50. I think the sickest part about it is that I was long UVXY yesterday for the first time in months. Because when it held $11.50, I played a small bounce. Yeah, that was me from $11.60 to $11.75 yesterday. Fantastic stuff. And that was kind of the that was kind of the you know the situation today. You know, we're so conditioned to have the market bounce in your face every time you short it, but what do you do? When the market starts tanking, our first level of concern was 137.33 on the Qs. And then I said if it could break 137.33, and this might sound far-fetched, we got 136, so where was it? 136.16 was your, you know what I'm going to say, right? I think it was the nine month VWAP or the, was it the, no, not the 10 day. Maybe it was the one month VWAP. I'll get it for you. Hang on. Bear with me. That's going to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Right. Your one month VWAP, which was, uh, I mean, it, I, sometimes I'm, it, I am amazed that it still works this well. 136.17. So I said, if this market takes root and we really start to sell off, we're probably just going to go give back those eight candles up, all in one candle, to 136.18. And, you know, I'm not going to say I got rich today. Probably should have. But at least we didn't lose money. And that's the, the name of the game is survival. What's going to happen tomorrow? Well, the Qs are at support. The Dow, for me, broke support. So... Yesterday was a blow off top. Whether or not this whole sell off is because what we we're thinking it is. Now, the only thing we didn't factor in to the equations of the bull market was impeachment. And now we are finally to the point where there's rumblings of an impeachment, which by definition is uncertainty. So if we're uncertain if the president's going to make it another two months, three months, or let alone a year, two years, or a full term, that's uncertainty. That's the definition of uncertainty. We're about to go through an impeachment process, all right? And I don't know, you want to be long a market that's been going up for nine straight years when we finally have a little bout of uncertainty? I mean, think about it. All we did just now is give back, what, three weeks of up. We got nine more years to give back, right? We're going back to Dow 6,000. Maybe we are. Doesn't bother me. That's the beauty of being liquid. You understand? That's the beauty of trading the VWAP and letting the market tell you what to do. Do I know it's going to bounce tomorrow? Don't care. But if we gap up tomorrow and then roll over, 
If we gap up tomorrow, there's going to be that sigh of relief. Oh, thank God. But if we then sell that gap off and go negative again, the, the fear that this is not a one-day event will hit the market, and I think we can go down even more so. Weird coincidence, my friend just said, should I be buying today? I would not be buying right now because I could just wait till tomorrow to buy. Alibaba was down 70 cents this morning when I woke up. And I was like, yeah, what do I do here? It's only down 70 cents. Do I sell it? And then it went down a dollar, so I dumped it. I didn't sell everything else. I still got the SQ. I still got the Cybercock. I held on to the CLDR, which was a fucking mess. That stock broke out yesterday. Broke two, three, four, five, seven, twelve, nine, nine hundred new highs, and then rolled over and died. That stock is awful. I don't care what happens at this point, but that one, I just gave back all the money I was up on. But how about that gold cover? I didn't realize that I could influence the gold market. I shorted it at 121.50, covered it 116.84 and 117. And we basically went down for, we went down one extra day. And now we're almost back to 120 on the GLD. And if this market does start getting hammered, of course, that gold trade will probably come back into play and they'll run gold a little bit. And I'll look to short it again. I let the market tell me what to do. I have no idea. Nobody does. But when you're breaking down under two weak levels and candlesticks are getting violated and your 10-day VWAP is at 130 days and 90 days, and now we're talking about we just went back to a one-month VWAP on the queues all in one day. So basically, we just gave back a month. And on the Dow, I'm trading the diamonds. As soon as the Dow, as soon as we opened up and broke under 208.12, I was like, I had enough. I'm out. Too bad I didn't sell at the open. But guess what? At the end of the day, we did all right. So we survived. And that's part of the game. So tomorrow is a brand new spanking day, and it's fantastic. I hope you guys didn't get hurt. I hope you guys stayed nimble. And I hope the guy that I always talk about who owns SVXY, who never wants to sell, this is the day I was talking about. This is the day I was talking about, that one day you're going to wake up and SVXY is down 30 points. And now what do you do? So I know you're in from 45 and 50 bucks. And I suggested getting out at 85 and 90, and it went to 160. But you just, 30 points.